Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mara from Incarnate and it's tutorial time. Yeah, roll the theme song. Yeah. Anyway, it's been a while since we did a tutorial, didn't we? Let's start with something easy. How about progress bars? Yeah? Today we'll be creating these easy yet fancy looking progress bars for your music and videos with music. Depending on the type of video, it can increase the production value of your video exponentially. Alright, so let's start off by opening After Effects and uh, make sure you have your footage. This is the footage I'll be using. So 23 seconds of, uh, of my video of the template that I uploaded called Hellcat. There should be a card this way, I think. Or this way, or this way. I'm not, I'm not sure about the directions. It's confusing. Anyway, uh, so take your footage. Uh, let's make a decomposition. Uh, make this the length of your footage. Let's call this Comp 1. It's 1920 by 1080. It's 60 FPS. Put the footage in that. And uh, let's make this progress bar first. Let's top one. Okay. Uh, so, in order to do that, we'll take. We'll create a new shape layer. And then uh, go to contents, add path. And now you all you it will turn into a why am I pointing at the screen? You won't be able to see. But my cursor has turned into a pen, a sort of pen. So I just click here where I want the progress bar to start start and this is where I want it to stop. Okay. Now from this first of all I'll change it back to the selection tool, then I'll add a stroke to it. Let's make that stroke like five wide. You can see now we have a white line. Actually, let's make that stroke a lot more. Let's make that 50. And uh, on the line cap, make it round cap. Yay! Now that's what it looks like. Uh, let's duplicate this with Ctrl D. Go to contents, stroke. Let's make this 35. I said 35. Uh, duplicate the footage layer. I'm just gonna turn the audio off on the new one and uh, put it between the two layers the 35 uh, pixel stroke and the 50 pixel stroke. Uh, you go to track mat, alpha mat, shape 2, and voila, this is what you have. Now, uh, what you have to do is uh, go to trim parts in the top layer, in the, the one with the 35 strokes, you go to you add trim parts to it, open up trim parts, go to the beginning of your song, uh, actually hold on, let me just see, okay so this is this is the effect we want, uh, you go to the beginning of your song, click on this to keyframe the end, uh, the end thingy, thing of a bob, whatever it's called, make sure it's on zero, go to the end of your song and make it on, uh, turn it to 100. Now there's a keyframe set over there. You can see my cursor. So while I scroll through this, you can see that we have a progress bar. And how long did that take? How long? How long? Does it tell me anywhere? It doesn't tell me anywhere. But that was quick, wasn't it? Okay. So now let's uh, do this bottom one, the orange one. Okay. It's gonna be simple to just go off from here. So just duplicate this. Uh, go to this one. Uh, go to contents, trim parts. Uh, remove these keyframes. Put it on hundred. And go to this one. Turn this one on. Um, content, trim parts. So the keyframes are already there for it to go to go from 0 to 100. This end uh, thing on the trim path. And uh, let's just change the fill color and the shape. The stroke color. Voila. We have an orange line going. We have an orange line going. Uh, the progress bar filling up with the orange color. At the same time, uh, we have this transparency. Basically, we can see through the bottom most shape because of the alpha layer anyway cool second one done let's move on to the third one which is let's do this one the middle one all right it's gonna be easy reset this whole thing 
fridge shape layer add rectangle let's make the size uh, 1920 minus 100 what the hell oh yeah because it doesn't have a fill and for some reason this turned on so we added a fill to it we made it white uh, let's make the size about 10 pixels yeah yeah that sounds good uh, let's move it down somewhere over here let's make it 480 position wise anyway uh, add another rectangle mm, let's make this 480 position wise as well uh, on the y axis uh, the size of this could be 10 no, 20 by 5 to small 20 by 10 oh, where did it go 20 by 50 yeah 20 by 50 okay so at the start uh, just uh, move the x-axis position to so this line starts at uh, 1920 minus 100 so let's just go 1920 minus 100 minus 50 uh, oh shit where did it go oh let's just move it manually Okay, let's make this uh, something like 860. No, minus 880. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so this this will be the start position. Go to the end of your song. Let's make this positive 880. Yeah. So now we have a rectangular progress bar. Yay! All right, let's do this one, the circle one. Alright, um, I'll just delete the rectangle part too, which is the small rectangle in between the line. And uh, let's make another shape layer. Come on, shape layer, rectangle size. Uh, let's add a fill first. I always forget to add fills. Okay. Uh, size actually needs to be uniform. Uh, let's make this one 75 and let's move it down to this 480 and position wise let's make this negative 880 Look. let's make it negative 850 on the x-axis all right, and uh, roundness should be like 100. Yeah, roundness 100. Okay, so we have a circle now. Let's make the circle go from at the start, at the beginning of your song, keyframe the position, then go to the end of your song and change the x axis from negative 850 to uh, positive 850. All right, now just duplicate shape layer 2 with uh, Control D and uh, let's duplicate the footage as well mute the second layer and move it up and uh, before we do anything like that just, just uh, hide it for a while and go to rectangle path and change the size to 50 so now we have two circles one's a 75 one's a 50 move this footage layer over here and uh, change the track mat to alpha mat shape layer 2 we have to turn this layer on <laughs> yeah this is nice isn't it anyway let's move on uh, last last one is this this part with the cat head this is easy this depends very much on the type of video that you're doing I just thought the cat over here would look cool next to this one so let's just instead of having this let's get a cat over there so I should already have this one imported as you can see it's in my template uh, when you extract the template you should get a AP After Effects file and a footage folder in the footage folder the cats 
and the song and the wallpaper behind it or whatever so I just imported the cat in I'll take the cat I'll put it over here I'll change its size to something like 5% and you can barely see it that's the cat that's a tiny cat anyway uh, let's change its position to be over here I'm just gonna eyeball it instead of doing a mark or something all right I'll drag it on top of this let's get it perfectly centered if you hold space you can click and drag your workspace and you know Move it around to your convenience. I'll just round it off. I don't know why, but numbers with decimals bother me. Anyway, so we have the cat. Let's uh, make it like eight person size, seven person size. Yeah, that looks better. Actually, we can move it up just a tad bit. Then that's too much. Then twenty. That's better. Yeah, and now just I'll just turn shape layer three off. Go to the beginning of your song. Keyframe the position, go to the end of your song, and just 1920 minus 110, I guess. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, the, if you're wondering the reason why I did 1920 minus 100 is because from this is zero, this is 1920. If it's 110 pixels away from the left side, on the right side, it should be 90, uh, 110 pixels away from the right side. So I'll subtract it, you know, anyway. That's it. Yeah. Done. Easy. Alright guys. That's it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you dislike it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.